In Cryopermetric 4.0, the Flex Modeling extension provides an additional Flex Modeling tab when working with sheet metal parts. In the following, some standard direct modifications tools are shown as they are exposed by the Flex Modeling environment in sheet metal design. The example shows how easily side faces can be selected and moved supported by a trigger. In addition, this face can also be rotated by a selected edge. When selecting a face for a move operation, all relevant faces are automatically selected to preserve a valid sheet metal part such as selecting the opposite face and the adjacent bands. Next I will show some powerful capabilities of the selection in the Flex Modeling environment. First, the cut selection as part of the shape selection tool is shown. Automatically all faces belonging to this cut are selected and moved by the move operation to a new location. Second, selection by geometry rules. Select a surface and in the next step getting all surfaces that are, for example, coplanar to be moved. Rounds are automatically detected as well in the move operation. Use box selection to select all faces in a box. You can use box selection for a direct modification tool or use the new geometry search tool to detect and select all appearances of a selected geometry like this form. The selected forms are moved and copied to a specified location. Another way for fast selection is to use the Pattern Recognition tool in Flex Modeling Extension. Use the Shape Selection Cut to select the geometry and then use the Pattern Recognition tool. All cuts with the same geometry are detected. Next I use the Offset tool to widen one of the cuts. In Options select Propagate to Pattern and select the pattern in the model tree. All members of the pattern are modified in one step. If some geometry should be removed, use Selection box to select the area and then use the Remove tool. All walls and attached bands are removed. Next, I switch from bent state to the unbent state. You can use flex modeling operations in both states in the same way without violating any sheet metal design rules. Let's move a part of the wall and cut including bent reliefs by first selecting it using box selection and then moving it. You can also use box selection to select multiple walls including bands and then use move copy to move it to the new position.
Next I switch from the unbent state back to the bent state. All modifications get the correct representation in the bended state. Flexible modeling gives you the flexibility to change sheet metal parts in easy and intuitive ways independent of how the part was created. This is true even if the part was imported from another CAD system.